Hi, welcome back friends. In this lecture, we will create this beautiful navigation bar just by using some predefined classes of Bootstrap which is already existing in the Bootstrap libraries. So you can see in this navigation bar, we are getting menu's name like home, our services, works, team, about us and also we are getting the logo. So now in this lecture, we will be creating something like this just by using predefined classes of the bootstrap okay so first we will come to know which classes we have to use here to define such a navigation bar so just coming at the website like getbootstrap.com if you search it then you will be redirect at the page like bootstrap get started as you can see here we have now if you scroll the page you will get tons of options like bootstrap cdn installation official themes so we will not talk about these things because we have already done it earlier so here we will discuss only how to get started with the navigation so simply come at the top and click here like get started after clicking you will be redirected at the page like example bootstraps let me show you see here we are getting examples and here we have lots of examples uh, are preferred which you can consider to make a beautiful website you can see framework so we will not discuss about this simply we will go for bootstrap navigation bar so if you scroll then you will get nav bars you can see this is the nav bar and here we have some examples are defined which you can uh, go by so here just follow this first one click on it after clicking you will be redirect at the page like name bar and also all the classes you will get here so here we have classes like name bar name bar expand so you can see the red color is basically noticing here for the classes so this is the classes which is already predefined in the bootstrap libraries okay say for example you can see here i'm getting name bar expand and it has sm md lg excel so what is it actually you can see SM SM stands for a small this is for medium MD LG means large this is for Excel extra large so these are the basic classes which you can use to put a bigger changes in your projects if you scroll the page then you will get lots of classes here we have nav bar and here we have nav this is the HTML5 basic uh, tag after this we have navigation so these are the classes which you can put to make the bigger changes if you keep on uh, scrolling the page then you will get different types of classes here we have neighbor brand it is basically used to put the logo in your navigation bar you can see for your company product or project name so you can put your logo just inside this class like neighbor brand to show there in your web page after this we have neighbor nav so it is basically used for full height and lightweight navigation okay it also supports the drop downs after this we have neighbor toggle now this neighbor toggle we will use just for putting some clickable behavior okay so we will use this then we have form in line neighbor text collapse neighbor collapse so friends this is the basic classes which we will use to create a beautiful navigation bar and also you can see some ideas here like this is the navigation bar which looks like something this if you want to create something like this simply copy all the code here and after copying you can also go through this click on the copy there after it will be copied and then paste inside the body section but here i am just guiding you all the things with very a scratch so you don't have to copy and paste the things to define the changes okay so let's do that we have to create this navigation this navigation is containing the logo and the menus name we have seven menus one two three four five six seven yeah we have seven menus so we will put it definitely now i am coming to the brackets and here inside the body section just taking extra white spaces then i'll be defining the comment first i am putting the comment here for putting the comment simply uh, mention lesser sign and then put exclamation sign and then the dash and here i am putting 
the comments why i am putting the comments because i am putting the comment just to show you that this comment is containing this basic file or that basic file that's why i am putting here so here we have to create the navigation so i am just putting here navigation starts you can put the comment or you can just leave it and start doing your works okay so here i am mentioning navigation starts it will never make any changing in your uh, web page it is just for noticing that where my navigation starts and where it ends okay so inside this first i am putting nav class this is the H this is not a class actually this is the tag which is defined in the html5 already simply i am just mentioning here okay now inside this nav i am putting a class of the bootstrap called nav bar so this neighbor class will contain a navigation area after this we need to put a background color in this navbar for putting a background color we have also a predefined class in the bootstrap called navbar inverse so it will put a background color like black navbar inverse we have two color already defined in the bootstrap libraries first navbar inverse second navbar default if you put navbar inverse then you will get black color in the background of your navigation if you put navbar default then you will get a gray color in the background of your navigation so i am putting black color if i show you then we will get definitely a background color in the navigation let me show you You can see we are getting a black color. So our navigation is started to create. Now we have to put a logo here and also we will put some menus at the right side. So just I am doing all the things step by step. Now inside this I am calling the class from the bootstrap called container. What is container actually? Container is actually a data putter. You can put any data in the container to make that data as a responsive. And also container has two types first container fluid second container default if you use container default then you will get less margin not less margin actually you will get more margin from its sides okay and if you use container fluid then it will get lesser margin from both sides so these are the basic similarities between both okay now I'm just coming inside this and putting another class of the bootstrap like neighbor header inside this neighbor header we will put our logo and also yeah we will put only the logo for putting the logo i am mentioning here anchor link anchor link why because all the logo in the website are clickable that's why we have to put our logo inside the anchor link so i am mentioning a href inside this first i am putting the image or before putting the image of the logo simply i am mentioning a class like neighbor brand neighbor brand now this neighbor brand will contain an image so my image is already available in the image folder simply i have to call that so i am calling that my mentioning image source and this time i am locating that image img here we have logo okay Friends, why I put neighbor brand because you have already noticed here. Let me show you. Here we have neighbor brand. So this is basically used for putting the logo and the logo name. See here, neighbor brand for your company, product or project name. So that's why I'm putting that. Now I'm coming back to the bracket and just saving it and showing you how we are getting our logos there. Yep. Friends, you can see logo has been put beautifully it's looking awesome now we need to create the menus name as you can see in the browser we are getting our menus name like home our services works so something like this we will put there as a menu name for putting that simply i am coming just down to this deep closing tag of this neighbor header and putting here you will take Friends, whenever you will have to create the navigation, then make sure to put UL inside UL, you will contain LI and LI will contain anchor link. So here I am mentioning UL and just putting LI. 
okay and inside this li we have to put anchor link because we have to make our navigation or menu's name as a clickable that's why we need to put here anchor link a href and here i am putting the menu so first we have to put home home now we need seven more or six more actually because we have total seven menus so that's why i'm duplicating it six more time by pressing ctrl d okay so we put here seven menus now i'm changing the menus name so first we have home after this we have our services our services third we have works works then we have team then I'll be going for about us about us now we have two more so here we have carrier and last one is our location yeah our location just take a look now before taking a look just I am putting some class of bootstrap here like nav never nav this is basically used for putting the menu's name now just saving it and coming back to the browser yep friends you can see we are getting our all menus predefined aligned like home our services works team about us carrier or location now we have to shift these menus at the very right side here for shifting it at the right side again i'll be using bootstrap predefined class like neighbor fixed or just i'm putting here neighbor right so it will be aligned all the menus at the right side yep you can see it's aligned beautifully so it's looking cool now we will make it as a response you can see when i'm decreasing the browser size we are not getting any navigation menu right here okay so what is responsive menu friends whenever we will uh, decrease the browser size that time we will not get our menu as a dropping as we are getting right now so here we will put some button inside the button we will collect all the menus so when the user will click on the button then they will get the menus otherwise at the uh, decreased position they will not get as the menu dropping now okay so here we have to put the buttons and that button will be clickable so when the user will click all the menus will drop down okay for making that simply i am just coming inside this neighbor header and here i am again passing the comments like this here i am putting responsive button responsive button okay it will contain all the buttons so here i am just mentioning button first and giving a type to this like button now i'm calling some classes of the bootstrap so here i mention class and giving a class to it which is already defined like name bar toggle what is name bar toggle let me show you here we have name bar toggler or toggle actually so you can read here for use with our collapse plugin and other navigation toggling behaviors so if you put this name bar toggle then your button will start dropping the menus at the down when the user will click on the button so you will get it clearly once we'll uh, put all the data exactly okay so neighbor toggle now i am putting a jquery attribute like data toggle collapse so it will collapse the menus at the down now i am putting data target inside this data target i'll be putting ids which is not created yet i'll be creating the ids and once that will be created i'll be putting that ids inside this data target okay so as i said you that we will put a button here so this time i'm putting that button by using some span tag span and it will collect the class like icon bar now i'm just duplicating it two more times because we need three vertical lines in the button that's why i'm putting here icon bar it is defined already control d control d so it's been duplicated 
two more times now i'm just saving it and coming back to the browser yep friends you can see we got three horizontal lines and it's looking well okay you can see vertical or horizontal whatever but it is not clickable actually you can see i am clicking on it but it is not behaving like clickable so we have to make it clickable so just i am doing that next to you here we have ul just at the top of this ul tag i am creating another class so here i am mentioning div and giving a class to it like collapse neighbor collapse all the classes which i am putting here is coming from jquery libraries which is already existing here see here jquery 3.2.1 jquery.min.js what is min actually min stands for minified it is the minified version of jquery and all the class which i am calling here inside the div are coming from this jquery library okay so here i am mentioning neighbor collapse collapse a spelling must be correct then it will apply otherwise it will not now this time i am putting the id because we have to call this id inside this data target to make our button as a clickable okay so i am mentioning here navy i am putting a custom id here you can put any id name whatever you prefer so i put navy here and just getting this div here and putting after the ul tag here and removing the extra white spaces yes now i am calling this id inside this data target so here i am putting hash and then the id name like navy id is always called just by putting hash just next to the id's name but if you want to call the classes then you will put dot definitely now i am saving and just coming back to the browser yep friends you can see now on the normal position we are not getting any menus as a dropping down it is collected inside this menus and when you will click on this menu it will drop down wow how cool it is see i am clicking and we are getting all the menus beautifully dropping down so this is called responsive menu i hope you are enjoying isn't it so friends in this lecture we created a beautiful navigation bar with responsiveness now in the next lecture we will work for the styling we have to change its color like background color and also we will make some manipulation right there in the styles okay and we will make something like this let me show you we will do as it is showing up right here so friends it's done now see you in the next till then keep on practicing okay bye